Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. Man, I love that sugar cane. The sugar cane cracks me up <laughs> from Apothesis or whatever it is. Uh, even better when you break it. But uh, yeah, I'm over by the Iridescent Altar because I was kind of looking at some more of the creative quests. Kind of going around like the outside of it. I think those are, well, actually, I don't know. I was going to say, I think maybe these are the easier ones, but that's an Infinity Catalyst. That's a bit easier than a UU bucket, so maybe not. But I was kind of like looking at the outside, and I was like, uh, why don't we get the Thaumanamanamanamanamanamacon? And uh, that way we can get the Flux Sponge as well, because it's relatively easy. I do need to get the Void Reagent, but, I mean, that, that is super easy. It does take 350 will, but I mean, we have, what do we have, like 3,000 in that that Tartaric gem we have from our farm. Uh, but yeah, I'm over here. Creative Thaumana... No! I better hit it before I'm, like, talking, and, well, I could also turn it to... <laughs> I could turn it to night if needed. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, there we go. Uh, I just wanted to get that. Uh, sanitizing soap, sanity checker, Eldrick Citrits. Cool. Um, now I did do a, I did do a backup, uh, just in case. Uh, when I open this, I get tons and tons of warp. They do give us some sanitizing soap, which is pretty cool. Um, but I am actually going to open this. I think somewhere that is not inside my base. Should have these like displayed a bit better, but eh, it is what it is. Also, you can see when I'm recording this. Uh, yeah, so I guess we should maybe fly away a little bit away from the base and we'll open this and this will unlock everything. Also, I do have this and I keep forgetting to use it. All right, so I guess we'll go over here. I do love the random spider webs. <laughs> In the sky. Alright, I think we're good here. I may need to wait for some warp to disappear. Also, that was really loud in my ear. Alright, well, that gives us the entire... All this stuff. Uh, we don't have a whole bunch of add-ons, so maybe it won't be, like, super terrible. But we definitely got some warp. We can look at it. The heck? Where did all that come from? Did I do something there? Oh, we didn't even get that much warp. Thought it'd be like way more than that. Where did those come from? Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I just opened the thing. I didn't do anything. Weird. I'm like, we just randomly got that stuff. Oh, yeah, there is some over here. Uh, that. There's so much stuff that goes into, like, all these add-ons, and I have no idea at all what it does. 50 attack damage, minus 50 max health. Oh, that's kind of cool, but, yeah. Hey, get out of here. I'm trying to click on this stuff. Yeah. I've never, never gotten into this, actually. Uh, if we need to do a whole bunch more... Uh... Um, infusion, there's like lots of things we're going to need, and I might, but not super. I haven't noticed like a, a really big need for, oh, that's annoying. That, what's it, fog or whatever the thing is called. Um... The, is there, no, that, I was just thinking, I'm like, is there a way to clear warp? I can't remember. Like, permanently, clear permanent warp? I don't remember. Just doing this to get rid of some. Yeah, we're losing a little bit, but we're still going to have some... Normal warp. All right. Um, go away. <laughs> oh, Thomcraft. 
with your annoying <laughs> the warp stuff. I know some people love it. I really don't. Like, this isn't enjoyable to me. Is this like a... Uh... How long is that going to take to go away? <laughs> like, is this like a... No! And I'm never going to be able to find it. Okay, I found it. I was like, is this like a night vision? Is that why this is doing this? Because that is obnoxious. Or, sure, I thought it would... No. Yep. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully this goes away. I'm like, do I even have like a debuff? I'm looking for the debuff. I'm not seeing it. I, yeah, I'm waiting for the night vision to go away. No, it's still like that fog. Uh... Oh, it's going away. It just took a while. All right. Well, we're back to normal-ish. Okay, I get it. With the research completed. Like, okay. We got it. We got it. We don't need to keep seeing that. Alright, let me throw all that stuff in there. And, uh, I guess the flux sponge... Uh, right-click to drain all flux from 9x9 chunk area. Also removes flux rifts if used while sneaking... Right. Do we actually... That's that's right. The flux is in the... That's... Of course. The flux is in the... We don't have personal flux, do we? That's not a thing in this. It's in the chunk. That's right. Okay. So, I guess let me craft that up. That is... Oh, there we go. It finished. Uh, yeah. Let me get this stuff. We've done all this before. Do we have the... Yes. I was like... We don't have the infusion thing, but we do have that. Alright. That's easy. And this is all basic stuff, too. Tenebrae, I don't think we have 48 Tenebrae, do we? Do we have any Tenebrae? I'm pretty sure we had... No, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of Vacuous. No, we do. But we only have 15. That's Obsidian, though. All right, be right back. All right, I am back. Got the stuff that we need here. Really easy at this point in the pack. Um, I did... Uh, didn't realize I didn't have the air and the aqua yet. We've never actually used air and aqua. I had to craft up more jars. That's kind of funny, but uh, pretty sure we have everything. And uh, I replaced the candles because they were a little bit screwed up from when I was moving everything. And I think I had some water, I think, accidentally broke something because I had a whole bunch of things that were missing. Anyway. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Uh, let me grab this. I think we are good. I haven't even looked at what dangerous. I, we should be good. We have all the. Do we have all the things underneath? Did I move those? I did move those because of the. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I think we'll be good, right? Did I do a backup? No, nah, I think we'll be good. That like that was a weird sound. We'll just speed that up a a tad. We should be good. Get that stuff in there. Yay! All right. So I'm not sure if this kind of gets around the instability. I actually don't know. But uh, yay! There we go. Flux sponge. Also, when I was filling up some of this stuff, we had that fog effect again, which is so annoying. But uh, we should be good. So we can see our flux there if I use this. 1439 flux drained from 81 chunks. Thought that would update, but maybe not. <laughs> I'm like, uh, is that... Why did that update? Maybe that, it just was, maybe I have to like run out of the no? Are you broken? This is broken. Oh well. Well, we use that. We have no more. I thought we weren't going to have any more. Am I like... 
<laughs> by sending off flux into the by standing here am i sending flux into the atmosphere i actually don't really know i just figured that would stay at zero not going up oh well, well i'll hold this i'll keep this on me uh if i get that uh annoying uh fog vision uh i'm gonna be a little sad but uh all right, there we go. Flux condenser. Isn't that something you put on the something? I never crafted one up. I, you put it on, you feed it something, and it pulls flux out of the atmosphere. I don't know. We'll throw it in there. All right, so I'm just going to do that. Do that. We got that. We got that. So we knocked out two more. Also, neutronium. Uh, I probably need to... <laughs> hey, why did that stop coming in? Something happened over there. I had 4,000 when I started recording. Now it's stopped coming in. Mm, I may have to go check it. But uh, we do have enough for this. Let me do that really quick. Uh, we have plenty of TNT. And uh, that explosion compressor is super fast. There is our nine ingots. Do we have to throw it in a compressor? Does it have to be... I hope it can just go in that. All right, cool. I was like, this doesn't have to be like <laughs> UV level, but uh, all right, Deuteronium block. Yay, another quest complete. Also, can I turn this into... Lies. You lie. I'm like... <laughs> that recipe lies unless it's like a bug with AE or something like that maybe it might be AE but uh, yeah apparently you can't do that uh, I'm pretty sure we need blocks for something though also why am I there's one that lets me search when I'm in no it's not that one I thought I had it right oh what am I talking about that is <laughs> that is the right thing. I was like, uh, all right. So I do need eight of those blocks anyway for the infinity check-in. Uh, do we have a chaos shard? Didn't we get chaos shards? Didn't I kill a chaos dragon? Did I use chaos shards for something? I did something with chaos shards, didn't I? Do I have to go kill that thing again? Uh, don't make me do that. No. What the heck are these? <laughs> What is even the point of all those? Where do we where do we get those? Weird. Um I used it for something. What did I use it for? Did I use it for chaotic core? Didn't we get Hmm. Now that I'm like wait, didn't we? No, I haven't got a chaotic We killed the chaos dragon this, didn't we? Did I not get the chaos shards? Hmm. I just remember it being so bad. I hated that fight without uh, draconic armor. Uh, I just don't want to fight it again. Anyway, well, 32 neutrons, that is completely... <laughs> like, wait, is that going up? I don't know. I'm going to have to go check that out. They. I wonder if they like broke through the shield or something. It doesn't seem like they're coming in anymore. Which is a bit annoying. Alright, get that, get that, we got that. Uh right, we need do I have enough for two? I could maybe can we get like do I have enough for nine? No, I don't have enough for TNT yet. Um I really kinda need to maybe think about speeding this up to be honest. This is only HV. It's just about even. Yeah, we're out of... Oh. That scared me. <laughs> uh, we're out of that. So, yeah, it's the Tuloween or whatever that is. The... This one. 
Man, do we have creative tanks yet? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me do a little bit of looking around here. I think we maybe I think we might be able to get this today. And power diamantine, block of silicon rubber. Yeah, we have everything. Flux blocks we do not have actually, because it requires that. That is annoying. So you do get sixteen from this. I don't know. Yep, it's one to one. All right, so that's not terrible. All right, let me uh, do a little bit of looking around, and we'll be right back. All right, I am back in the end, and I just remembered uh, when I flew over here that I had the digital miner over here, and we were getting iridium. That is why I never must have never broken the uh, the chaos thing in the middle because I didn't want to blow up the island. I totally had forgotten I had set this up, but uh, I think I'm going to take this. I'm going to, I think I'll maybe mine out a little bit of this. I, I have so much of it, I don't think we'll need any more. I feel a little weird blowing this island up, but uh have my, yeah. I think at this point, like I said, I'll just... Uh, Get some more of this iridium, and this should hopefully carry us through. We can, we can even, you know, uh, turn it into dents, and we could do that whole process. So, I mean, we get stacks and stacks of iridium from this stuff, so we should definitely be okay. But uh, yeah, all right. So let me, uh, we'll do that. Also, I was totally confusing. <laughs> There's two types of Thomcraft stuff. I was, uh, the flux sponge gets rid of the one in the chunk, which is what you see under here. Uh, we have 6.8, as you can, if I hold shift, you can see like 6.5 or whatever. That's what that would get rid of. There we go. Um, that is not what this sanity checker is. This is personal warp. I totally got these uh, mixed up. So just wanted to <laughs> clarify that uh, I was wrong there. Um, also, we're still getting annoying side effects. I, I really hate that. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think there's a way to get rid of that. And part of me just wants to clear all my warp because I just hate the... Like, I hate, like, the fog and, like... I got that uh, unnatural hunger, which is super annoying because it just drains your saturation bar. So I don't know. I really don't like those effects. I know it's kind of like part of the mod and it's like the immersion and stuff like that. I get that. I just don't personally like that. So uh, I probably would have not gotten that until the very end of the pack. So I wouldn't have to deal with that. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. If it gets really super annoying, yeah, I'll probably just clear my warp. If I can't, uh, if I can't get it through the, can't get rid of it through the mod, and I don't think you can. I, isn't that like permanent? Isn't that like dark purple? That's like totally permanent. I can't get rid of that, and I'm gonna be dealing with annoying things for the rest of the pack. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll live with it for a little bit, and we'll see. All right. Anyway, let me uh, stop talking your ear off here, and uh, we'll meet you back in the base. All right, we are back in the base. I've got the five chaos shards. Hopefully, that is all we're gonna need. Um, we just need the one there, and uh, I don't know. If, ooh, I like how many of these are we gonna need? I don't know. Where is? All right, there's two for that, so we might need. No, that's three. So. Cool. Um, oh my goodness, that's a lot. Um, I have been kind of looking at, that's the final item, isn't it? Yeah, that creative thing is the final, the final craft that we're going to do. So I have been looking at what we want to do, and I was actually looking through the infinity chicken, the infinity egg, and I realized there is actually like way more things you get from it than I realized. One, obviously, Molten Infinity. Um, you can get Neutronium Ingots from it. Uh, there's the Molten Infinity. You get Nether Stardust. You get Dimensional Shard Ore. Um, don't need Scrambled Eggs or the 
regular egg, but uh, you do get those. You also get more chickens from an infinity egg. If you put it in a light well, you get red matter. You put it in starlight infusion, you get a wither soul for the draconic. You can uh, put that on a spawner. You put it in the infernal deconglomerator, you get indium, osmeridium, tungsten. Uh, uranium, plutonium. I mean, there is so much stuff. You put it in a crucible, you can even get awakened draconium. So there is a ton of stuff. I didn't realize there was actually that much from that. Uh, you can even get some crappy solar panel. <laughs> uh, yeah, it only goes up. I was for a second, I was like, holy cow, how far does it go up? But no, it only goes up to LV. Well, that is pretty lame. Uh, are there any other little bugs? No, there is. No other solar panels. So, uh, I think that is probably the next big goal that I want, the Infinity Chicken. Because um, we can use the Infinity Chicken to get all the other stuff. So, you know, there's no other point to be crafting up more of this stuff than we need. Um, so I think Infinity Chicken for sure. Now, these three we've already got. Crystal, we've got that. Stem Cells, we got that. We're working on Neutronium. We got Glitch Hearts. We got a Chaos Hearts. So, the main things we need here are infinity crystal matrix waking draconium um i think the first one is oh man dragon hearts am i gonna have to keep killing the dragon <laughs> i just i was like no i have to keep killing the dragon i mean i guess i already have two dragon hearts we got them from killing the the chaos dragons which, by the way, when I over to mine out the Chaos Shard, I picked up a Dragon Heart. So apparently that was just laying there the whole time, but never despawned because it wasn't loaded. But uh, yeah, I think the first thing we're going to need to work towards is the Infinity Ingots, which is Waken Draconium, Infinity Catalyst, Argon. Well, we got Argon. <laughs> we need these two. So Infinity Catalyst. Now that I'm looking at this as well, holy cow, are we going to have to get some stuff automated here? Um, we were just talking about, should I do Essentia, AE, Essentia, or whatever? Yep, I think we probably will need to, because I'm going to have to do these. A, for every one of these, I think I'm going to have to do, I think I'm going to have to do, uh, another, um, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? I'm going to have to, for each... Infinity Chaos, I'm going to have to do a primordial, primordial Pearl recipe, I think, is what I am getting from that. That's annoying. Um, and Powered Draconium, I'm going to have to automate this for sure, which is, I hate automating that thing. I've done it a few times. I did it in Animatica. So I think uh, let's start getting the stuff we need for this. Now, one is Silicon Rubber. I don't have it... I don't have it like automatically solidifying, which I probably am gonna need to. And maybe, why don't I, let me throw a fluid solidifier here and then I can pipe it out and put it in the fluid solidifier, get ingots. I have just been doing it manually, but we're gonna need the ingots cause we're gonna need a lot of these infinity catalysts um, from what I'm getting. Also, I'm gonna have to manual place all these, that's, that's not the most fun in the world, if I'm reading this correctly. Um, I think once we get this, we won't ever have to do it again, though. So we're going to have to get enough for this, and then we'll never have to do this again, is kind of what I'm I'm thinking from what I'm seeing in any eye. So, uh, yeah, let me get the blocks of silicone rubber. We'll get the flux, and we'll come back. All right, I am just setting this up, and uh, I'm I was debating whether to do directly to blocks, but we do need occasionally need silicon sheets. So I was like, why don't we? We'll just do do ingots, and then I can compress the things. Um, I we'll try this. I don't know if it's actually gonna work um, because I only have it storing sixty four. I don't have it running permanently. I totally forgot where my compressor was. Here, isn't it? 
Yeah, I don't have that running permanently. Like, I don't have it just shooting things. But uh, I set up a storage bus. Um, I finally put an export bus on there doing the silicone. I have sulfur dust in there and then having this set to keep 64 so it doesn't fill up with uh, the poly stuff that it's that. So it doesn't fill up both slots. Um, I actually have a robot arm here as well, but two robot arms don't really work. Um, because I had set to both 64, but it doesn't know which one is which. Maybe like a filter would fix that, but... I don't think we need it. We'll just put that back. So uh, there is that, and we should get to that. So I need, see, we can really only do one at a time. I mean, we get the silicon rubber back again. The problem is if I want like 16, so if I want to do like four of these at once or something like that, we're not gonna have enough silicon rubber ingots in the thing for that. So eh, I may adjust this. I may, do a, another adjustable storage unit or something like that, and then store a couple, a few stacks, as opposed to, I don't want 64 stacks or anything, like, in those. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, right now, I'm just getting my first one up. Oh, neutronium. Do I have enough? Oh, I didn't do a recipe for that, did I? I just realized there's not enough. <laughs> I just did the last slot in the. Uh, I just did the last slot in the compressor, didn't I? That's the one issue with the compressor. Um, if I can do it direct, if I do, I should just have it directly into blocks. As I'm talking, I'm convincing myself that I should just do that because then if I need. Oh. Yeah, that actually doesn't work. I was thinking like if we need plates. Yeah, we could do it like that. All right, I just convinced myself that this is a silly way to be doing this. Thankfully, we can just chisel at block. Now that's just going to tear through that obviously. <laughs> but all right, so there we go. We have enough for 16 things in there and then we got extra silicon rubber if we need all right cool uh let's not have that in there anymore we don't need that you need that now the question is how the heck am i going to still still working on that that's pretty slow actually also did i set this to yes i have it yeah, exporting sulfur. Cool. All right. Um, this is the annoying bit and infusion. Like, how do I want to do this? All the flawless diamond we're going to need also is a bit of a pain. Um, how many of these are we going to need? You only get four ingots from that. And if I'm going for the infinity chicken, I think that's the best way, because I can use the infinity chicken to get more infinity. We need 36. 36. 36 ingots, right? My wow, math is hard. Yeah, 36 ingots. We need to do this nine times. Wait, that's not even anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have to do, like, 50 of these. I really only need to do this nine. We get nine ingots. Yeah, we get four ingots each times nine. All right, yeah. Yeah, of course, because you get we need four blocks, and <laughs> nine ingots is a block. So, yeah, we need this nine times. All right, well, then I don't have to do that, and probably don't need to. I may, uh... Um... Oh man, we need a lot of celestial crystals. I'm just noticing that. All right, I'm assuming this gets used up. Why don't I craft one of these up? Do we have any? Is it... we have to do it this way? I'm right. I'm not. There is this. Oh, hello. I have one. Can I use this to like. This doesn't. Does it? I don't remember. 
Do you use this to get... I can't remember how the Sky Cauldron works. Uh, you get... No, that's... You don't get full Primordial Pearl out of it, right? Oh, man, I don't remember. I, I can't remember how that works. I put that in there with the high covalence. Let me do that really quick and see if it pops out of pearl. I can't remember. All right, uh, just getting the last of this stuff here. Probably don't remember if I set a recipe for void. No, I don't think I did. I do need all that stuff. We actually have so many of those. We actually don't need that right this second. Uh, I should do a, a recipe for those. I don't have the, I actually don't really need this. I only need 16 more. I could just, no, I'm going to need to get that automated. What am I talking about? Uh, so that's that. And then I also need more of this. Totally don't remember. Yeah. I was like, I don't. I didn't think we needed the crystals, thankfully. All right, so there is that. I need to do the that. It's going to go in this one. I thankfully have a assembler with the unstable mana in it. So I think I got most of that i don't have the void metal plates i don't think we need these for anything else i'm just going to do that manually all right let's just double check that works do we have everything oh primordial pearl right uh yeah so that totally i completely had forgotten that we get primordial pearls from sky cauldron uh there is that partially used one i crafted up a bunch more of this we're gonna need a bit more but uh yeah Ooh, did i run out of i did i need a let's do one of the oh what was it called what's that the key what the i totally forgot what the oh my goodness i forgot what the thing was from cyclic what's the the that marker i was like i totally don't remember what that was called there because i'm not using this for anything else so let's just do this it's even right here Ta -da. all right cool that should be running all right there it goes and we're gonna get a bunch of primor well not a bunch but we're going to get more primordial pearls from that. So I'm assuming once this runs out, I can just throw a new primordial pearl in, right? I'm kind of assuming that's how it works. <laughs> if not, uh, we shall see. All right, so there's the primordial pearl. We should get the alchemy thing. I am running a bit long on this episode, but that's okay. Did that, did I already go? I put it is this can't reach it <laughs> did I put that somewhere else did I hold on no I didn't put it in here did I I just not have that able to accept it and it's solely annoying because I need to I could have sworn I had it able to accept from yeah allow input I'm not quite sure why that was and it's not working hmm unless I have it going somewhere else do I have it going somewhere else 
I do. <laughs> you know, that's kind of funny. I was just thinking, I'm like, I thought I already crafted one of those up. All right. Sometimes, you know, it's way more simple than you think it's going to be. I forgot it needed. Nope. I forgot it needed uh, unstable mana. So I put it in this one. This is kind of my random one. All right. So we got that. Uh, flux blocks, right. I need two of these. Uh, I have so many mixers. I need to just craft more. All right, I am back and I am just kind of messing around a little bit with antimatter. See, oh God, I did it again. Yeah, just trying to see what would like be an easy way to spawn more without destroying the world. Uh, have I spawned multiple buckets with flowing? I don't know. Did I? Oh, it looks like I did. All right. So, interesting. All right. So, flowing blocks also create antimatter, and this is. That could be like, who knows, going down to bedrock. Um, I have also collected a whole ton of neutronium dust from those ender chickens, so I think I may need to turn that off. Um, I did put it into a cache because it like filled up my A system so fast that uh, I totally could be using the dislocator. Oh well. Uh, mixer. Yes. All right. So it needs to go in here. Um, I will look into possibly doing that. I don't know if how much we're actually going to need. Um, we need what about 18, 18 of these things. So I would have to do the math how many buckets I actually need, but. Uh, We'll do that. Uh, I also crafted up this, which if I did that right, would there go in there. So this is for the flux crystals, melts down the redstone and then mixes it with the flux crystal. Uh, there in the chemical bath so that is that and then it should go in there i don't know if i hit that it looks like i did all right i think it did work there all right so we got the one block i actually need two now that i'm thinking about it so yeah cool thing is we don't always need to do this per thing because you do get 16 from one one bucket of antimatter uh, but i just have a separate i just decided to make a separate mixer or that all right so yeah there we go i also need to get some more radon with my radon chicken i keep forgetting to do that as well but uh it looks like everything is working yeah all right cool um also violet crystal blocks i needed for diamantine that's why i was mining those out all right so I think we're doing pretty good here. Unfortunately, I am run out of time. There is a ton, I mean, a ton of automation that goes into this. It doesn't look that bad, but really when you start breaking down all these recipes, they need many different parts. Um, thankfully, a lot of it I already have got automated, like the covalescence the high covalescence and all that stuff. A lot of this stuff I do have recipes for, I've already done in the past, but boy, is it pulling from like every single mod. We got actually additions, and then if you look at these, it's uh, Batania, and then it's, you know, Greg Tech and Mana Pearls and this, and holy cow, just every single thing that goes into this requires a ton of automation i mean this is you know creating tnt and you need chickens for that then uh flux so you can see the flux of the antimatter and all that stuff hardening this is probably the easiest thing on there this 
is, I mean, pretty... It pulls from a whole bunch of different things, so... Yeah, I need to get... We're almost there. Um, I need the... The only last thing we need is we need three more blocks of this stuff. Um, I kind of underestimated how much time that was going to take. Um, because... I do like how fast that is. <laughs> that makes my that makes life much much easier. All right, there we go. And uh yeah. So each of these diamantine takes there's nine of these and it takes half a thing. So uh that's going to take me a little while. We'll get that next episode. I'm going to do that. I might set up a little vacuum and a something something drop it down. I don't know. Um but I did get Two more Gaia mana spreaders and to help out with uh, filling these up. Because boy, is that going through a lot of mana. I should probably have more. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'll try to figure that out. That. So I am going to set up the things again. With a micro or mini or miniaturization. Mini miniature. There we go. Um, I'm going to set those up. And then next episode, we will get our first Infinity Catalyst. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching and have a good one.